Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida have all declared states of emergencies in multiple counties and parishes, specifically surrounding New Orleans, where Nate is projected to make a direct hit, according to the Weather Channel. In Louisiana, evacuations were ordered for Lafitte, St. Bernard Parish, Grand Isle, Laverich Parish, and St. John Parish have all been issued a mandatory or voluntary evacuation by Governor John Bell Edwards D. We do anticipate a direct hit in Louisiana, Edwards told the Associated Press in a statement. The bottom line for people is you need to be where you want to be and in the posture you want to be by dark on Saturday. Edwards also announced that 1,300 National Guard troops have been ordered in Louisiana, where they will position themselves in the southeast region of the state, where the tropical storm is expected to make landfall. Additionally Florida Governor Rick Scott announced a state of emergency for 29 counties. Alabama and Mississippi's officials followed, with at least 11 shelters in the southern region of Mississippi being opened for potential flood victims. Tropical Storm Nate is headed north toward our state and Florida must be prepared, Scott said in a statement. I have declared a state of emergency for 29 counties in Florida to make certain that state, federal and local governments are able to work together and ensure resources are dispersed to local communities. By declaring an emergency in these counties, we can also ensure that there is no hindrance in the transportation of supplies and assets. Should the tropical storm become a hurricane before hitting landfall, it will be the fourth major storm to hit the Gulf Coast and Florida region this year. Houston, Texas, and surrounding areas suffered severe flooding from Hurricane Harvey as well as Florida residents who saw serious damage at the hands of Hurricane Irma last month. Most recently, Puerto Rico is still recovering from the damaging aftermath of Hurricane Maria, which knocked the U.S. territory almost entirely off its power grid. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump visited all three portions of the U.S. impacted by the devastating hurricanes, giving out food and supplies to victims. John Binder is a reporter for Breitbart, Texas. Follow him on Twitter at Edgeksonbinder.